up to this point, we've been outputting text and content to the, to the screen. We've been outputting content to text files. A lot of times when we've been outputting content to the, to the screen, we've been using the print method. As an example, take a look. I can do something like uh, print hello world. Now, inside of the print method, we are passing a string value. I hit my enter key and I've now printed that out. Let's say um, print, oh, I want to output some text, but I want to output some numeric values as well. So I want to do something like, oh, let's see, earth is the third rock from the sun. All right. Now I've got some text in there. I've got some numeric values in there. So I got strings. I got some numeric value as well, but it's all considered a string value. I hit my enter key and I've now printed that out. Okay. This is a string value passed into the print method. Now, what if I want to get a little more fancy with it? I've got some variables or I've got properties of a class object or whatever. So I got something like name equals Kyle, uh, age equals 21. Now I want to output something inside the print method using those two values. Well, I say print and I'll say hello. Well, I want it to say hello, Kyle, right? So I do space, I do a quote, I do the plus symbol so I can concatenate multiple values together. Then I'll say name. So this should come out as hello, space, Kyle. Hit my enter key. There it is. So now I say something that I, I want to do. Print. Let's do the hello, Kyle again. Hello, plus name. Uh, then I want to do plus, oops, plus. Uh, you are, uh, and I want it to tell me how old I am. You are plus age plus years old. All right. Wow. Hello plus name plus hello. I'm, I'm trying to create this string of content, this, this, block of text that I can then output in some way. That was a lot of pluses because I had to do a lot of concatenating inside of all of that, that message. And, and then I hit my enter key or I execute this. And, uh oh, oh all, right, all right, let's see. Can only concatenate string, not ints to a string. So now it's barking at me and saying, hey, you have age, which is an integer, a numeric value, and you're trying to combine that with string values? Well, you know what? You can't do that. I got an error. So now, I thought it was big enough to begin with, right? Now I've got to cast this value as a string. All right, all right. Let's see. So now I got that big old mess of text there. I hit my enter key, and yay, there it is. Hello, Kyle. You're 21 years old. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, now, I'm trying to create a more elaborate block of text, a more elaborate string. And I could do that using the plus symbol, but it's a lot of work. And if I have numeric values in there, like the age, then I've got to cast it. I got to remember, oh, this should be treated as a string. That way I can concatenate it with other strings and so on. It gets pretty messy doing it this way. So what I'm going to introduce you to the next couple of lectures here is how we can create more efficient formatted strings. Okay? So Try this out, get a feel for working with it this way, and then jump into the next lecture, and I'm going to show you a much more efficient way to accomplish something like this.